Welcome to the Michiana Business Podcast, where we put local legends and businesses in the spotlight for everyone in our area to see. If you love small businesses and success stories, then you're in the right place. You're listening to the Michiana Business Podcast with your friends, hosts, and owners of industrial office cleaning right here in Michiana, Caitlin and Alonzo Perdomo. Hi guys, I'm here again with another great episode in Michiana Business Podcast. Uh, remember, our sponsor is Industrial Office Cleaning. If you need any cleaning needs, uh, just uh, contact us in 574-310-7782. Uh, Last time I forgot to say the phone number, so there you have it, guys. Uh, so now we are here with Dustin. Uh, he runs a, a school. So let's uh, hear from him. What, what exactly did you do and who you are? Uh, yeah, thanks for having me. Uh, my name is Justin Zabrowski. Uh, I'm the school director of the Excel Center in South Bend. Uh, what we are is a, <clears throat> we're a high school for adults, anybody 18 or over that is a resident of Indiana uh, and does not already have a high school diploma can enroll for a, or with us for free uh, and start the coursework that it takes to earn your Indiana Core 40 diploma. Um, and uh, we've been around for about this is our sixth year in operation. We've been open since 2015. Uh, since then, we have helped over 180 uh, adults earn their Core 40 diploma. Um, and we have students that are, uh, I'm sorry, graduates that are doing a wide variety of things right now. Um, one of our first graduates ever is finishing up her degree at Kent State University studying fashion and design. Um, we currently have one of our graduates attending IUSB School of Radiology. Uh, mm -hmm. She made Dean's List her first, uh, her first semester there. Um, and actually, uh, she was also a student who uh, started with us about the time that we opened. And uh, she was uh, an immigrant and was going through the United States uh, citizenship process. On the same day, she graduated at the Excel Center she also earned her U.S. citizenship uh, mm. and got that ceremony and certificate uh, on the same day. So, um, so yeah, we have a lot of students here who, just because they don't have a high school diploma when they come to us, a lot of the people out there, employers or even friends and family, discount them for reasons that I don't understand. But uh, we're happy to take people in who want to make uh, make a career for themselves and the first place is a high school diploma for many of them um so we're just really proud to see a lot of our students thriving right now it's awesome to hear so uh, a lot of people they think they are too old for uh, go back to school you guys have the opportunity to help them and guide them and kind of uh, achieve more things in life right yeah yeah the oldest student we've ever had is 74 years old actually um and uh it there's you just got to be 18 or over. And other than that, there's no age limit. As long as you're alive and kicking and wanting to do better, uh, we're the place to be. Okay. What, what, is the, what is the hard part to uh, a student when they come in? Like, uh, you know, we are um, an adult now. So what is the hard issues that you see there and you guys can help as well? Um, yeah. So we have some things uh, built into our program to help with a lot of the barriers that we see a lot of. We, we refer to them as barriers. Uh, for instance, if you don't have a car, that's a barrier. That's a barrier to getting to places, to getting employment, to getting to school. Uh, so what we do is we provide our students with either uh, transpo passes to get back and forth to school, uh, or if you drive, we'll provide uh, $10 of gas money a week in the form of a gas card uh, if you have good attendance. Um, so we wanna be able to help get you here, get you to school. Um, the other thing is childcare. Many adults have kids and therefore they don't have the time to go back to school. But we have a childcare right here on site in the same school that we run our adult education classes. So as many of our adults are in classes learning uh, the high school curriculum, uh, their kids, uh, anywhere ages from about eight weeks to where they get their free first immunizations as a kid, uh, on up through 12 years old, uh, if school isn't in session, uh, we, we will watch our students' children as well. Uh, and in there, they, they, um, they employ the high scope curriculum, which is a curriculum specifically designed for the students that we serve. Uh, and it's also used in Head Start, which is one of the more uh, popular preschool programs throughout the state. Hmm. So uh, how do you... How do you um... 
let me ask you this. Like, how did this uh, help a lot of the business in the community? Can you give us an example, like how they uh, by um, by the people getting more degrees can back to the school? How do you think impact the community and the business wise? Well, I think it, one of one of the biggest things when I talk to employers that they want isn't as much of the hard skills, um, such as do you know how to run a Siemens CNC machine or do you know how to weld? Um, those are actual sp specific certifications that our students can earn. But what employers are really worried about, what they really want in an employee is somebody who is dependable, can show up on time, somebody they can trust, somebody who can communicate well, collaborate with others, um, and, and kind of just add to a good culture. Um, uh, it's very important for any workplace to have a good culture because uh, if you're going to show up to the same spot every day, with other adults who you really have nothing in common with other than it's the same place you work. Um, you got to have something in you that is willing to work towards something bigger than yourself. Um, and, and so to a long answer to your question, I'm sorry, but uh, um, a, a lot of what we do here is more so about building up the individual to where that they, they see their own potential in themselves. Um, you can call it a curse or a blessing. Um, I taught middle school for four years before uh, coming into this uh, into this world of adult education. And I think kids taught me a lot in that they, kids know what is real and what is not real. Um, and for me, some of the most real things in life are the relationships you can form with the people that you see every day. Um, mm -hmm. And that is the kind of stuff I want our students to have those sort of skills, um, building bridges, not burning bridges, creating opportunities for yourself and being smart enough, getting that education to know a good opportunity when you see it and a bad opportunity when you see it as well. Um, you can, it's, it's hard to teach those things unless you're around people who have the same similar mindset. And that's kind of the stuff that I'm really pushing our staff to, to think about in our teaching, in our life coaching, um, and, and everything when we go out our days here at the Excel Center. That, 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 that was one of my questions. Like, how do, do you have any programs or like, how do you encourage the people like uh, they struggle to learn things or they struggle to have a time to go to the school? Do you have any programs to motivate them to continue going to the school? Um, yeah, so so we, we used to we used to employ more um, more programs like that to, to help students keep engaged uh, before COVID hit. And then once, once COVID hit, actually, I mean, maybe that's the best answer to your question. Um, uh, the magic of what we do happens at school. It's hard to form a relationship with somebody uh, through a computer or through a Zoom um, and, and really feel that same connection. Um, so, so what COVID did with us is it really, really made us realize the essence of what we do and everything we do and the reasons it's effective it's because we do it in person um we are tip we although we are offering e-learning right now uh for students who want to do it that way uh, about 30 percent of our students who are enrolled in e-learning are successful towards about 60 to 75 percent of our students who are enrolled in in-person classes are successful um, so the first thing to do if you want to keep students engaged is is make sure they have a reason to keep coming to school. Um, that's the first thing. Outside of that, when we have students that do come to school regularly, um, <clears throat> we've done many things. Uh, we've we've run a student council uh, that has ranged from anywhere from one student uh, and a teacher to we've had as many as almost ten students on the student council before. Um, and what the student council will do is just like in any other school, they'll address issues that the rest of the student body sees. Um, they've also planned dances for us. Um, a lot of the students that uh, come to the Excel Center missed out on a prom for one reason or the other. So uh, they, they have hosted a prom. We operate a food pantry on site um, to make that a, another barrier for people that they face. Is it, It's hard to learn if you're hungry. Um, so mm -hmm. we'll take care of you. We'll, we'll feed you. Let's, let's just get that out of the way. It's fine. We can do that. A few years ago, actually, uh, our lead coach, Warney Emanuel, 
uh, created uh, with the help of her coaching team, created a comprehensive counseling program. A big part of this was to incorporate some of the um, mental health mental health aspects of what we what we do here into the classroom. So the coaches, the life coaches uh, who double as the school counselors here uh, would go into the classroom, whether it be English, math, science, or social studies, take 15 to 20 minutes and, and talk about a mental health topic, uh, whether it be, you know, how to deal with anxiety or even just something along the lines of, hey, these are some best practices of a routine uh, in the morning to get yourself ready to get to get your day started. Um, and it's just those small things that we pe- we try to pepper in as often as possible um, so that students have a solid foundation of not just academics for their high school diploma, but a full package. That, that, that's really uh, good, I think, to have a, a mentor. I think, uh, like you say, everybody has that kind of mentor, like uh, I'm stuck in this position and I cannot grow. Well, that program, you have the mentor behind uh, of the students and kind of guide them and kind of uh, break that mental habit that this is only what I have. And extended moving forward, I think it's very powerful because uh, in experience, I have my mentor coach as well. And I think it's really powerful when uh, you feel down and uh, you're like, oh, that's it. it's impossible. There's no way that I can do it. But if you have somebody behind you, like kind of uh, motivate you, like, hey, look how far you come or look at this is not that hard. Just look at it for this other angle. I think it's very powerful. And uh, thanks uh, to have all that program there because when it gets hard, you typically like try to like, this is it. But when somebody motivates you, it pushes you hard. How many people do you have um, graduated through the six years that you've been in the, in the program? Uh, just about 180 students over the six years. The first year we were open, we only had about seven graduates. That's due to a, a lot of reasons. One being, it, it, this takes t- some time to complete this program. Um, the average amount of time it takes for students to complete is just over a year. Um, so if you think about our first pro, our first year in opening, um, all of our students only had one year to attend. Uh, so the fact that we got seven through um, was was amazing. Um, the year after that, we had 32 graduates. The year after that, we had 39. And then the year after that, we had 45, uh, which was, uh, or yeah, last year, um, uh, we had 45 graduates. Um, I'm sorry, no, year prior, 48 and then 45 is what we had last year. So um, COVID hit at the end of last year and it, it actually impacted a lot of our students' graduations. Um, one of the big things that we require our students to earn here is an industry-recognized certification. So earlier I mentioned CNC machining uh, or welding. Another industry-recognized certification would be CNA, a certified nursing assistant. Uh, there's pharmacy tech. There is surf safe food manager. Um, there's social media strategist. There's several certifications our students can earn. Um, but when COVID hit last year in March, a lot of the vendors or trainers that were offering the classes for those certifications shut everything down as well. Oh. Um, so we've had a lot of students actually ever since then that we either A, can't get a hold of, B, now that the classes are being offered, they don't have the availability. Um, honestly, Alonzo, right now we have almost 40 students that could graduate before the end of this school year. Um, but it's just because of their availability, because maybe their phone changed and now we don't know how to get a hold of them or they moved or whatever the reason is, um, they're just not able to get it done. So now that things are starting to ba- open back up again, uh, I really hope and expect that, uh, we're able to get students through the programs and, and the main goal is to get our students employed, uh, get them in a job that can turn into a career. Uh, I often tell people, I, I really don't care about your high school diploma. I care about what you want to do with it. Um, we're, we're not here for a piece of paper. Um, we're here for a better lifestyle and a better quality of life. Um, and everything you learn here is building up towards that. Uh, and Alonzo, actually, going back to your mentor comment about how it's so powerful to have somebody um, kind of just cheer you on, really. Everybody experiences that. Um, I wish. I wish everybody had... Uh, some sort of structure or or mentor or something like that that they could turn to um, because we realize that a lot of the students we have don't have that. And honestly, a lot of the other grown grownups and grown people, you know, don't have that, but need it. Um, you know, it, even myself included. 
I have I have a few small number of people I confide in often. Um, and and they really help me like be better. Uh, and I can't I can't do that on my own. None of us can do any of this on our own. Um, and that's an collaboration is an art form I'm not willing to let die. We have to work together. Yep, yep. That's one of one of the things. You have a strong team. You nothing can destroy you. But if you have a weak team, or um, no tied up, everybody can walk over over you, and you're like, oh, what happened? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. How do they can get a hold of you, or how do they can get a hold of this program that you have that you offer to continue growing the community and also continue growing also the business? Because I think you have a more people that they can work in different levels, just growing the community. So how they can get a hold of you? Yeah, um, thank you. Um, so if anybody is wanting to attend the Excel Center, uh, they can visit our website at www.excelcenterhs.org. Um, not to be confused with excelcenter.org. Um, we are one of about 20 Excel centers in the state of Indiana. Um, most of them are operated out of Indianapolis. Um, our goodwill, goodwill of Northern Indiana oversees our campus here in South Bend, Gary, Indiana, and Hammond, Indiana. www.excelcenterhs.org and select the South Bend location if you want to attend here. And you just simply fill out the uh, application online. Um, it's, it's an application, but we're collecting your information to make sure you're eligible. Uh, and then we contact you after that. Um, if anybody wants to call and ask questions more specific, the phone number would be 574 three one four five five seven oh um and again anybody 18 or over that doesn't already have a high school diploma and lives in the state of indiana is eligible to attend how long it takes let's say for example if you have a zero grades or anything like that how long it takes to finish the program so that that is one of the most common questions we get i'm actually going to school right now um getting a master's degree and it uh it is a lot to take on school I also have twins at home. I also have a full-time job running a school. Um, and so we're totally understanding of what it's like to be an adult going back to school. It does, it, it, it's not your necessarily your number one priority all the time because family always comes first. Um, work puts food on the table. And then school's got to fit somewhere in there. Um, but I know that there's a long game to be played. Anyway, long story short, students can attend classes and take as many classes as they can. Um, we really prefer, as I said earlier, students take classes in person because that is, we have certified teachers from the state of Indiana that teach classes. Like this, this isn't a place where you come and sit down on a computer and do all this work by yourself. You get to actually be taught by a teacher. You get to sit down and receive instruction. Um, there's not a whole lot of adult high school programs that that operate that way especially in person um so if you attend class half the day uh it's likely to take you maybe two to three years to get this done if everything goes according to plan but if you can take classes all day we have had students get this done from zero credits in just over a year um but then again it also depends on how much do you know from the last time you attended high school uh if you forgot how to add multiply and subtract fractions if just me saying that threw you for a loop, uh, you probably need to take a remedial math class before you jump into high school algebra, right? Um, so it does take some time, um, but I can't stress enough to everybody. Everybody that actually digs in and gets it done, you get something more out of this than just the high school diploma. Um, anything worth doing is hard and takes a little bit of time. And anything that isn't difficult or doesn't challenge you or doesn't take that much time, you're not going to get a lot out of it in the long run. And so that's how I sell it to people. It, you, you're, you go through this program. You're not just getting a high school diploma. You're understanding how to collaborate. You're understanding how to make a commitment, how to follow through, how to really write, too. Um, writing is a skill that everybody needs these days because whether you have to write for your job or not, you're probably communicating on social media and that's <laughs> going to be there forever. Yeah, yeah. And what a shame it would be to have your grandkids looking back at your Facebook page and saying, wow, grandpa didn't know how to spell at all. Or <laughs> grandpa knew, didn't know how to use a period. 
I, yeah, I say that jokingly, but that's one of those things that you have to take in consideration. So yeah, this, this does take a little bit longer than some of the other programs out there, but you're going to get a lot more out of it. Yeah, you just got to be committed. You just got to see where you're going to be and why you're doing the things that you do and why are you going back to school? Because if you don't have that clear vision, it can be like um, when you want to start the new year, like I want to work out this year, I'm going to build my six pack. And then the next month comes like, oh, should I forgot to go to the gym? So yeah. Always. But we have that vision. Why did we do this? Why did we go back to school? If it's going to sacrifice a lot of time away from my family or I'm going to be um, tired because I got to go to work as well and take care of the family. So you always have to open your eyes and see what exactly you want to be. If you're in the Michiana area and would like to have us put your business or story out there for everyone to hear, sign up at MichianaBusinessPodcast.com. Until next time, thanks for listening.